Hey guys, so today I'm just going to be talking about, to me, what the secret to life is. And I know that sounds pretty dramatic. It's not like this will solve all your problems in life, but life is going to be really hard if you don't get this figured out early. Because I feel like this is a piece of advice and the lifestyle that I follow every day. And if I didn't, then my life would be completely different and my personality would be different. Everything would be different. So it's kind of just like the secret to life. I mean, honestly, most people figure this out a lot later in life. I luckily figured this out in middle school just because of situations that help you grow, even if they don't seem good in the moment. They are always good because they help you grow. I've talked about this. It's pretty much one piece of advice. I'm going to kind of like back it up with things. So I have my coffee and my notes and we're just going to chat. I know my last two videos have been sit downs like this, but I really enjoy just talking to the camera. This is what I think is the best piece of advice for you to live your life. It's to not give a crap what other people think about you or just don't care what people think about you. It sounds like super simple and to me it was just because it doesn't translate as much in my videos but I feel like some people can tell that I am a little weird, I am a little different but I'm not ashamed of it because I don't care. Like if you don't like me, I know I'm a good person. If I was a bad person and I was doing bad things, that's whenever you need to care what people think because if they're telling you like you're a bad person you need to like change your ways then i get that if you're a good person and you just have different qualities and you know you're not being disrespectful and you know that you are being a genuine good person as long as you know that and as long as you are confident in yourself and what you do then i don't know why anyone else's opinion matters in the end it's literally just going to make you upset people are just mean and i feel like i'm a lot weirder now than i was in middle school but i think i've probably always been this weird it probably was just the amount that came out because that's the amount that i was comfortable with sharing the more comfortable i got with my personality the more confident i got in myself the more my personality actually shows. There are a lot of people my age, younger, older, that still live their lives based on what people think about them and it's literally just so damaging because not everyone's going to be happy and if you're a people pleaser it's going to be a rough life. I see people today that always ask me like, is my hair okay? Is this okay? Is my outfit look okay? Do I look good? Blah blah blah. And I'm like, who cares? Like, yes, I think you look good. I think you look beautiful. But I would say that on any day because you do. If you're confident in yourself, you're going to look beautiful. No one's going to think anything about your hair or your makeup or your outfit. And if they do, who cares? I don't get what the whole thing is. Like, why do you care at all? When I tell people like, okay, like stop asking you how I think you look because I'm always going to say you look good and you need to stop caring what people think. And then they're like, well, I mean, if I stop caring what people think, like I'm still going to shower and I want to smell good. And I'm like, that's not for them. Like they just don't get it. And like, I'm just like, what the heck? You don't shower because you're going to be around other people. I mean, maybe you do because you don't like showering, but like still. Hygiene, that's just kind of like what you need to do. Like hygiene is just health. That you shouldn't feel like you're doing for other people. That you should be doing for yourself. But I mean, hey, if you don't feel like showering and you don't smell bad, then who cares? Don't shower. <laughs> but if you smell, then shower. I don't have many friends and I'm fine with that. I used to not be okay with that. I used to be sad about that but now when I think about it like I'm like people have like a bunch of people around them but which ones of those people are actually involved in their actual life or like are they just there whenever people are around if that makes sense you never know the whole story and if someone doesn't like you like it's their loss who cares like why would you want someone that doesn't like you or doesn't accept you for you to be around you why would you get sad about someone that makes fun of you or judges you you don't want to be around that person you don't want that person to be around you like they're the ones losing the good friend and if you can't tell all this is based on personal experience if you confess your feelings to someone and tell them you like them, this is for boys or girls, and they don't like you, or if they get a girlfriend or a boyfriend before you confess their feelings, this is how it means multiple times as well. You can have your morning stage, you can have your time that you're sad, but then after that, you just have to accept that why would you want to be with someone that doesn't want to be with you? You'd rather just cherish that friendship if you can still salvage it and just stop and like get out of your own head. Either continue with that friendship, or if it's too hard, then completely take them out of your life. I feel like to me it's completely like black or white, hot or cold. You either are gonna have to accept that person and be friends with them and be okay with it or you're gonna have to like completely cut them out of your life if they're either toxic or if it makes you that sad. And eventually you will get over them because there's been a few boys that I 
liked and I never told and thankfully I didn't ever tell them because I knew they didn't feel the same about me. One of them like got a girlfriend. Now that I look back, I can't believe that I ever liked those people. Not that they're bad people, but I'm just like such good friends with them now and I don't have the feelings. Always just wait. I feel like it's not a bad decision to wait. See if your feelings change because there was another guy that I really liked for like two months, but he was a really good friend of mine, so I wasn't gonna tell him. But then like, he was still like a great person, but he had anger issues. I'm still good friends with him. It's just like, I don't like him like that. So I feel like everything is a time of waiting. And then also you will find someone and if you don't, then maybe you're just meant to be like the crazy cat lady or the crazy cat boy. I don't know. There's so many people in this world that you will find someone for you or not find because you're not seeking you're waiting. I guess if you don't get out and if you don't do things, then there is no opportunity for you to like stumble upon that person. But I also don't think you should be like seeking that person. That's how some people meet their spouse. Sure. To me, I feel like it's always the waiting game. Literally everyone says it. It's the time when you're not expecting someone to come into your life or whenever you finally accept the fact that you're fine with being single. Okay, this is kind of like the secret to life, like not caring what people think and also kind of like getting over relationships that didn't even happen, if that makes sense. But these are just key pieces of wisdom that I have learned throughout my years. I used to be like really sad about being single and when I would watch romance movies, it would just make me even more sad because I'm like, I don't have that and I won't ever have that. Honestly, it was while I was watching The Office because Jim and Pam are so cute, but then I guess when it was finally when I stopped watching that, which kind of sounds weird, but then I watched a few episodes the other day and I kind of felt sad again, but because I had built up that strong suit, it was like two or three months that I haven't even really been sad about it all. Like, yeah, you'll slip up and you'll be sad about it, but for the most part, you accept that you're single and you like that you're single. If you just let it happen, then it might happen. Like, you also don't want to think, oh, I'm just gonna accept it so that someone will come into my life. Like, that won't be like a genuine exception. Those are pretty much all the things that I have learned that I end up either telling people multiple times, trying to drill it into their head, or I want to tell people, or I feel like everyone just needs to know the, these things. And it's kind of like, this was kind of an all over the place video, but honestly, that's how life is, so. <laughs> the main piece of advice is just to not care what people think, because all these little things, like, umbrella under that. Once you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you should care what they think about you personally, but your outside appearance should not factor in at all. I really love the song Perfect by Anne Marie. Just go listen to that because it's such a good song. She's like, don't feel like putting makeup on my cheeks. I do what I want. She says all of these things are perfect to her. It's such a good song because I just love the message behind it. If you find someone that truly loves you, they shouldn't care at all what you look like. I've realized as I've gotten older, whenever I think back to like my first impressions on people, I don't think they're that cute. Like I'm like, this person isn't cute, but then once you get to know them and you get to know their personality, that's what makes them cute, which I know sounds cheesy. It never used to like, even occur to me like I would see them and be like, ew. Now I feel like once I get to know them, they get cuter, which is weird because it's just their personality, but I don't know, I feel like I don't know. It's always personality over looks. And don't ever base your life off of what someone tells you. Do it, you feel comfortable, do it, you want. Do you, boo. And if you're a Christian and if you're not a Christian, then I'm still gonna tell you this. The only person that you should be listening to is God. You should just make sure you're honoring him with your clothes, with your words, with everything. God should be the only person you're trying to prove yourself to, but you shouldn't even prove yourself to him because you don't have to. God should be the only person you are trying to live for. You should not be living for anyone else besides yourself and God. So yeah. This kind of plays into my last video a little bit because my last video was my story time of how I pooped myself in the woods. I will link it up here. If I was someone who cared what people thought about me, I would not have ever posted that. I mean, I know I will have people, they'll be like, why did you post that video? And I'm like, because I don't give a poop about what people think about me. I just want to post what is funny and what is fun to me. And if that's what I wanted to do, then so be it. As I said in that video like 70 times, like make light of every situation that you can. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, did, I would love it if you subscribe down below. Wait, just let me know down below if you have any other videos you want me to do, sit downs, because I've really been liking these sit down chill videos. They're so much more fun than makeup to me, which I thought I would never say, but makeup videos take a lot of effort and I'm not really feeling inspired to do makeup right now. So that's why I just want to sit down and 
talk. I've just been having a lot of thoughts in my mind, so I might as well talk, right? Just let me know down below if you have any more topics you want me to discuss. If you did enjoy this video, I'd love it if you subscribed down below, and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!